In this lesson, we're gonna create the UI of the login screen. So let's go to SRC, inside screens, Oath. Let's create a new screen with sign in screen .tsx. And let's create a component. Let's go to app.tsx and render it. Here inside app.tsx, let's get rid of all of that and just render our sign in screen. And let's get rid of this and this and this. And those two are also. Okay, now let's go back to our sign screen. Let's create a style here for the container. Styles dot container. And let's add the styles here. Justify content, center, align items, center as well. Felix of one. Let's get rid of this sign in text. Now we want to render two inputs, input for email and input for password. Now let's use our input, our inputs that we've created before. Here inside our components, controllers, input. Okay. Now let's import them. Form, input, controller. And let's use also our hook here, const equals to use form. Let's destruct the control property to pass it here. Control equals to control and the name as email. Let's make it small e. Placeholder as email. Now let's press save. We want to make this keyboard a keyboard of email. So let's add props and add here keyboard type email address. Now when we press save, we have noticed here the add. Okay. That's our first input. Let's create another one. Form input controller. Let's pass the control property, the name as password, placeholder as password as well, and it will be secure text entry. So when, when, some, when someone types something in it, we cannot show what he types, okay? So we made it secure text entry. Okay, now we have here the email and the password. Let's go to this container and add some padding horizontal of 20. Uh, let's go to this form input controller and do some changes, please, to make the design better. Let's go here and make the width 100. And let's make the border radius only eight, so RS eight. If you if you don't understand what does this RS means, please check check the video of responsive, because th this to handle responsive screens, okay? And let's make it taller. So let's give him height of RV. That's for responsive vertical, thirty five. Now this looks better. Now we want to show a button. Here under this input, okay. I have a video before. If you open my channel and you're gonna notice a video I have created before, how to create custom pattern. I will provide the I will provide you the link of this video. I think it's here. Don't worry, I will provide you the link. Yes, that's it. How to create custom pattern in React Native. You can just press on this link to open to open the source code of it. When you open this repository, this repository also will be provided in the description. So you have here the the link of the video, and also you have here the the button component. Just open SRC inside our components, inside our main button. Don't worry, I will copy this link and provide you in the description.
you can copy this code here like that if you don't if you don't understand this code please see this lesson okay those two links are provided in the description so we just go to patterns and create a main button that's for a button component oops i forgot to type dot tsx now i just paste the code here um, first we need to add some typescript here so let's add those typescript let's create our interface interface main button props on press let's let's copy those props and pass the the type of each property okay for example on press it's a function that doesn't return anything okay the title is string and it's required okay is loading let's make it optional not required and it's gonna be boolean okay finally disabled is also optional this question mark prefer this it's optional okay now just copy this interface name and import the function component type from react and pass the prop here we have here also another issue the colors here we want to, de to define this object so let's go inside our styles here and let's create a new file of colors.ts and let's export our an object with name colors equals to export const we forgot to type const we have here primary primary let's make it black and we have white let's make it white okay now let's go to our main button and fix this import this is gonna be styles only styles oops i don't know let's make it let's fix this import we have to open to go level up and another level up now we are nsrc okay in this level just we need to open the styles so let's go down let's go down to styles folder inside styles inside the styles folder just pick the colors okay now let's see what's the issue here yes main color let's change this to make it primary now let's press save and let's try to use our button if you don't understand this code i have a lesson i described all of this code in previous lesson just check it it's in the description now we've imported our main button let's add the title of it let's make it login or sign in You can make it here, make it here disabled, and you can make it here also a loading when we on press on it. Okay. Now let's add to the to him some styling. If we open our main button, it doesn't provide any styling property. So let's add a style property for it. Let's add a style here, and let's import it here like that. A style, and it's optional. And it's gonna be view style or array of view styles. Okay. Now let's provide the style here and press save. Now we can go here and use the style property and add some styling. For example, we want to add a margin top of 20 and press save. Now we've done it. It's a, a basic login screen. Let's just format our code here. It's a, a basic login screen. We need here to add the logo here. We also need to add validation for the input and validation for the password using those in form input controllers. Don't worry, those are gonna be piece of cake because this form input controller and this hook and React hook form provide us a very good way to handle the validation using yup so it's gonna be easier than you think we just need to add logo here and image background 
and the validation. And that's what's, what are we going to do in next lesson. Thanks for watching and see you in next lesson.